Is the military starting to take a look at the requirement for operating within a multi-domain environment? We realized that there was a need for a system that could operate across the portfolio of, of threat systems that we could expect to see at the, at the tactical edge. So Black Lab was really our leap into that uh, arena in order to support the multi-domain operations. Black Lab is uh, primarily focused on uh, uh, electronic support and also SIGINT operations uh, with the capability of detect, also has the ability to identify and as opposed to many other systems, so we have the, the capability of using as multiple applications on an internal processing unit that can assist you with the identification uh, of the assets that you're observing. Uh, but it also provides a DF capability uh, with the angle of arrival or, or line of bearing that is unmatched in a small swap system. We've had this at a mounted configuration, which you see uh, here. We've uh, used it we're currently using it in mounted platforms, both as a, a singular standalone system, but also integrated with different systems serving as a queuing mechanism for those EOIR and other sensors to gain additional advantage on the enemy. Um, we've also had it, had it in a tethered UAS capability. And, um, and we're also, in some cases, uh, using it to support customers that are operating on small craft uh, offshore. Yeah, part of the, the, the great piece uh, as we've added the RADA team into uh, the, the DRS family has been um, our application of us being a passive sensor and their sensor being an active capability is that we can use our passive sensor to cue what is a very capable radar system to then serve in an active role against multiple threats.